Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Eunice if you're new here. I just got to IKEA and I'm about to head inside to check out some stuff for our balcony. I'm making some updates that I'll be sharing with you guys next week. And the original plan was to come to IKEA just to check out their outdoor and patio section. But I figured it's been such a long time since I've been here. Why not just check out what they have for the spring and upcoming summer and share that with you guys. So I'll be sharing with you these showrooms, deals that catch my eye as well as some trendy or new items that I am noticing for this year and I'm honestly so excited because I don't think I've ever been to an Ikea on a weekday like during the middle of the day so I'm hoping it's gonna be less crowded than usual so that hopefully I can like talk in there and it's not too loud or anything so yeah if you're curious to find out what they have and want to tag along with me then keep watching I already know I'm going to be seeing a lot of woven things today. I love this concept of having different ones of different heights. I also see that they're selling the lights for $11 each. So if you don't have an electrical source on your ceiling, you can get something like this, which I think is battery powered and create this concept if you want in your home too. And how cute is this stand right here? I love that there's two attached, they're offset. The stand costs $19.99. I'm also thinking of some plant stand ideas because I'm helping my friend make over her studio apartment and she is a plant mama. So loving this idea. Guys, what a cute concept is this? Um, I love the mix of mirrors and hats and little woven plates. So make sure you're washing your hands with soap and water for at least 20 seconds. Thanks for the product. I will note that IKEA's faux plant game is A+. Plus. I mean, look at this guy. This guy looks pretty real. And just a variety of their faux plants too. Here's a cute little rattan woven chair. This one is a little pricey, it's $80, but I really do like how compact and cute it is. It's quite heavy too. Feels quality, but I don't know if it's worth $80. And this catches my eye immediately. It's a mask. Look how cute this is. I'm loving this table arrangement. They uh, themed it with a sushi dinner. You have your own little plates. You can put your soy sauce and ginger. They have this little thing for little side appetizers. And how cute is this little thing for putting like rolls or serving? The serving wood thing is $14.99. I love these cups. They feel quite heavy, and I like the shape of these. I think this is a really good deal for these round canisters. They're quite large, so this is my hand compared to it. I mean, these can go for way more than this, double or even more on even Amazon. So really like it. It's very aesthetic with the bamboo lids. This feels very Jason style. He loves industrial designs. I think this is such a neat idea of using these little wooden crates for shelving. The way the books are stacked there like that just provides a lot of room for storage, especially if you're dealing with a smaller space. And the combination of that with the little wooden drawers I remember these shelves right here are what inspired our shelves in our home office room. We literally saw this and copied it exactly because we just love how tall and library-esque it looked. Here's a whole new spring summer vibe. 
really like these muted blues. I don't know if they look muted on camera because of the lighting, but uh, especially this velvet one, it's got a very slightly teal, like very slightly teal muted blue. And I really love how crisp it looks with the white couch. This is a cute DIY. So uh, this is the placemat that's $4.99 and they tied these fabric pieces to it. So you could really tie anything you want that can go through here and create this kind of macrame thing like this. These little flower glasses are so cute. I love the modern shape of this chair. This one is so cute too. This is such a cute rug that they hung on the wall right here. It almost looks like they sewed on a bunch of textiles together. Kind of reminds me of the killin' pillows that I got for my bedroom makeover. And oh my gosh, it's hand knotted from Turkey, so it most likely is killum. So they've also got these cushion covers that are going for $34.99. <laughs> And the material is just like the killin' pillows that I got for our bedroom makeover. It's this like very thick material and I do like how they've got so much variety. I love this patio or balcony, how it feels so private and cozy and so green. room would have been my dream in high school you walk in it's like a closet almost and there's a platform bed look at that it feels like an urban outfitters uh, catalog but i love it so much it's so cute all the colors I'm noticing a lot of more pastel-y in-between muted colors like this dusty rose, this teal right there. Also, such a creative way to hang some postcards. How cool are these chairs? These are $59.99. Actually not bad. I mean, so far I've been seeing chairs go for at least a hundred here. So I think that's a pretty reasonable price for quite large chairs. Looks like the story here is a little spa night. <laughs> so cute. These are the tones I'm noticing for their bedding. A lot of this dust rose, beige, and teal.
Oh, this is definitely a newer one with the round headboard. And again, more teal. I'm noticing a lot of this teal everywhere. Oh well, $9 for a three pack. Just the print. Here's some more layering of cushions, throws, rugs. I love this bench right here. It's very narrow. It's great for a small space studio. And it can serve as a sitting bench, but also as a coffee table the way they have it right here. I do love the cushion covers right here with the little ties. It's got this linen covering. And this is a little fuzzy Sherpa-like one, which I really like too. It's a really nice texture. It's getting quite loud downstairs, so the rest of this is going to be a voiceover. I found this six-pack glassware for $3.99. It was marked down, and I am a sucker for glassware. If I didn't have so many cups in our home, I would have totally gotten these. <laughs> And they had a larger pack for $4.99 and these are quite heavy and they felt really solid and high quality. I also found these teapots for $9.99. They had a larger one for $14.99 and I thought these were so nice for if you enjoy loose leaf tea. I've been seeing these bamboo trays all over YouTube and seeing them in person, I think these are so cute. If you're looking to organize some things on your kitchen countertop, spruce it up for the spring or summer, or even use it for table setting if you're hosting a brunch or lunch, um, I think these would look so good for that. And these are only $11.99. They also had quite the selection of vases. This one stuck out to me just because it was only $1.49 and I think it's so simple. It would look really nice with some fresh flowers. And I love this little glass bottle. I think it's for storing liquor or wine. And what a pretty way to store some alcohol on your bar cart. I had been on the search for some affordable duvet covers for my friend's makeover and I was so pleased to find this one at IKEA. The full and queen size one was $29.99 and it's made of cotton and it's so soft. There were a good number of markdowns for their pillow covers as you can see in the red marker price tag. Um, they had so many different patterns and textures and colors. They also sell their pillow inserts. They have one for $6 which contains duck feather and they've got another one for $3 which contains polyester. And this entire wall is all of their newer ones. Um, they've got that teal we've been seeing throughout this video, that dusty blue, a lot of mustard yellows and dust pink and reds. So you guys remember this rug that I showed you earlier in this video? Well, they had a much more colorful and vibrant version of it in the same price. And then to the left, they also had this neutral version of it. And I think the reason why these are quite costly is because they are made of old handmade traditional Turkish rugs. So I think the vintage material makes these a lot more expensive. And out of the three, I love this neutral one the most. Let me know below which one you would get. I definitely got a lot of floral arrangement inspo from this trip. Also found this trio vase set for only $14.99. I thought that was a great deal. And now we're moving into the plant section. There's a bunch of faux trees and plants at Ikea for really good prices too. They had a variety of pots. I thought this one was so cute for only $5.99. They had this giant watering can on sale for $14.99. It had this wooden handle and detailing on it that I thought was really cute and the spout was really large as well. IKEA also offers a variety of real plants for a really good price. I think their plant prices compared to the ones at Trader Joe's or even Home Depot. Um, definitely a lot cheaper than like local nurseries from what I've noticed. And I also found some pretty good deals on their faux plants. 
I also checked out their patio furniture in the warehouse section and I was pleased to find really good deals on them too. This one right here was only $120 for this set and it was really compact and great for a smaller balcony. So if I had known about this set, I would have totally gotten it when I did our balcony makeover last year. Hey guys, I just got back in the car. So I definitely snatched some faux plants. I got four of them. I got these two for $4.99 and then I got this one for $2.99. I'm gonna be talking more about it in my balcony updates video, but it's been pretty hard growing plants on our balcony. We don't get that much sunlight um, because of the way our the building cast a shadow on our balcony. I tried growing vegetables last year and we got to try some of our tomatoes before it started giving up on us and we never got to try our Thai chilies. I really do want greenery on our balcony though and usually I'm not a big fan of faux plants but I thought they were a great option for our balcony just having a few scattered around just to add some greenery and life to the space. Then the other thing that I got was this teapot. <laughs> Jason and I love drinking tea, especially barley tea, um, and we use our French press for it, but I thought it'd be nice to just invest in a teapot where we can uh, try different tea leaves in here. This is gonna open us up to more tea options, and I know we're gonna make good use out of this. I also got a duvet cover set. This one is for a makeover that I'm working on for my friend. This is 125 thread count. It's super soft. It's made of cotton, and this one was only 29 I think it was like $29.99 and it's for a full slash queen size bed so I'm gonna have to find a duvet insert for this. Great deal for a soft cotton duvet cover and the last thing I got is in the trunk. It's They're boxed up anyways um, but I'll show a photo right here and these flower pots are the main reason why I came to Ikea. Um, they had them in stock here so I grabbed them right away. I got three and I'm going to line them up side by side on our balcony railing. So we had a privacy screen on our balcony and we found that we weren't allowed to have anything hanging on to the railing so we had to remove that down and so I was trying to figure out a way to kind of block the view and add some privacy and I thought it'd be nice to have some planters side by side with some longer shrubs just kind of block out some of the view so I'm really excited to set that all up and make these new changes to our balcony and if you're curious to see how that's going to turn out make sure you stay tuned for the balcony updates video that I'll be releasing next week let me know below what you thought about this shop with me and if you enjoyed this don't forget to give this a thumbs up make sure you subscribe to this channel to see more shop with me's home decor and DIY videos from me. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram as well to keep up with my project updates. I love connecting with you guys over there and as always thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next one.